My classmate, Raika Watarai, is the prettiest girl in our school. She's good at sports, but not at studies. She's aggressive, so she would fight anyone who tries to mess with her. And it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. She's cheerful and likable, so she's always surrounded by a lot of people. Mom, that guy is acting weird. Shh, don't look him in the eyes. Uh, uh I, Kayu Omoto, is stalking her now. It's not because I'm a pervert or I like her. Then, why am I stalking her? I need to go back a few days to explain that. Please stalk Raika Watarai. My dad asked me to come and he suddenly asked me to do that. You've finally gone nuts. Are you doing drugs? I told you never to do that. I'm not doing drugs. We don't do that kind of legal thing in our group. If you aren't crazy, then why are you asking your son to be a stalker? It's a long story. The boss had a fight with his daughter and... The daughter of Watarai Group's boss is the prettiest girl in our school, Raika Watarai. They fight all the time, but this time it was especially bad and she ran away. Ran away? She's been gone for a week now. The boss is worried about her, but apologizing to her is not acceptable as a boss of the group. Oh well, they always care so much about saving their faces. So, the boss came up with an idea of getting someone to look after his daughter for her safety. And he thought you would be perfect for the job. Why? Because you're my son, and you're in the same class as her. But why are you okay with involving your normal son to the group's problem? The boss directly asked me for this. Please, for me, I'll give you a raise in your allowance. <sighs> Just like that, I became Raika Watarai's stalker. One day, is it so hard to see that the prettiest girl in the school could get into trouble if she wandered around the town at night? Hey you, do you have the time? Huh? Who are you guys? <clears throat> see? You must have time since you're wandering around at this time of the day. Do you want to go play with us? No, bye. Hey, if you don't have a place to stay tonight, you can come to my place. I live alone, so you can stay as long as you like, you know? Huh? I said no, and don't touch me. Ow, you're aggressive. I like a girl like you. <laughs> oh no, I have to do something. I got in the middle of them and took her hand. So sorry she's with me, excuse me. What? Hey, wait! Whew, we managed to get away. What? Did you try to save me? You didn't have to. I saved them, not you. She's the daughter of the boss, so she's really strong. I heard that she once knocked down 10 very strong men from Watarai Group. So you know about me? Well, you should. You've been stalking me for a while. She knew. I'll ask your buddy why you've been following me later. What do you mean by asking my buddy? What are you gonna do to me? What are you doing here at this time? It's dangerous for a high school student to be out at this time. That's what I want to tell you. Those kind of guys try to hit on when a girl is out at this time of the day. I'm not allowed to be out because I'm a girl. What if I were a boy? That's discrimination. Sorry. Just kidding. Why don't you let me stay at your place then? The prettiest girl in your school is gonna stay at your home. You like that, right? I can pay you with my body if you want me to. Mm, no. I can tell everyone about you stalking me. You can stay as much as you want for free, but please, forget about the stalking. Just like that, I took Raika Watarai, the prettiest girl in our school, home. Where are your parents? My dad doesn't come home much from his work. I haven't seen my mom since my parents got a divorce. I see. Oh, have you had dinner already? Not yet. Then I'll cook for you. Can I use your kitchen? Sure, but why? I told you I would pay you with my body, right? Oh, so that's what you meant. <sighs> you didn't seem interested, but you were thinking about something naughty, huh? Pervert. Ugh. 
An omelette with rice that she cooked for me was good. Well, now that we're settled, I need to ask you a question. Why were you stalking me? I knew you would ask that. I would have told her everything if I could, but the boss has asked me not to tell her the truth even when she noticed my stalking. It would be too embarrassing for him if she found out that he asked me to follow her because he was too worried about his daughter, who he had had a fight with. The boss has taken care of my dad. Oh well. Actually, I like you, Watarai. Uh, I was stalking you so that I could tell you how I felt about you. That's all. But it's true that I bothered you. So, what? Huh? What? Did you... Did you just say that you like me? Huh? I did. Oh! Don't tell me that in my face! That's embarrassing! What? This is unexpected. Are you embarrassed? Oh, of course I am! It was out of the blue! What? But you're used to being asked out, right? No way! It was the first time someone asked me out! Uh, really? Uh... This is really unexpected. Anyway... So, I'm really sorry about the stalking. You can do whatever you like to me. Uh, I guess it's okay. Stalking is unacceptable, but I make it an exception and forgive you. But you have to let me stay here for a while. What? If you say no, I'll have to tell everyone that you stalked me. Oh, well, I guess you can, but are you sure? Are you okay being alone with me? I was your stalker, you know? I don't mind. You're my classmate and I know who you are. And I'm strong. You know that, right? Yeah. She's not afraid of anyone. I won't ask you to let me stay for free. I'll cook and clean. That's nice. Okay then, it's a deal, Caillou. You can call me Raika too. I don't like to be called by my last name. Uh, okay, R Raika. Just like this, it was decided that Raika would stay at my home for a while. I guess it's easier for me to check on her this way than stalking. I reported this to my dad and... Then I can't go home for a while. I can't let her see me. That's what he said. He's a member of her dad's group, so Raika knows who he is. And we started living together. Hey, stalker. It's true, and it was completely my bad, but can you stop calling me that? Okay. Do you really like me, Caillou? Yeah. Then, do you want to go out with me? Will you go out with me if I answered your question right? <laughs> Who in the world will go out with her stalker? That's what I thought. If we were characters in a game, my likability of you is below zero. I can't believe you still chose to live under the same roof with me. I had no other choice. And I'm sure that I'm stronger than you, so I feel safe. Why don't you try sneaking into my room at night? I don't want to die. Then make sure not to do anything weird, okay? She's smiling happily, but I can't. I tried to live very carefully not to cause anything naughty to happen. But... Oh. Uh... I can't help it if you don't. I'm sorry. I didn't notice you were taking a bath. This is so unfair. Sorry. I know it wasn't your fault, but I couldn't stop myself. How scary. I managed to live even though there were some incidents like this. One day, I report to the boss every day how Raika was doing at night, and... Hey, what was that about? Raika heard me. Oh, it was just... Okay, I got the most of the story. You were stalking me not because you liked me, but because my dad asked you to, right? Oh. Uh. I guess I was right. <sighs> I'm sorry that my dad caused you troubles. Bye. Wait a sec, Raika. What? It's true that I followed you around because the boss asked me to. I'm sorry that I lied to you, but I don't think it's right for you to run away. It's none of your business. It is. I had to be a stalker because of that. Oh, that's true. I feel bad, but... And we've been living together for a few days. I, I'm worried about you, Raika. I don't want a stalker to worry about me. You know why I stalked you now and you still call me that. 
back to the topic. Uh, anyway, will you tell me why did you guys fought in the first place? It was simple. I was gonna take over my dad's group in the future, but my dad wants me to be normal. I got mad, and I ran away. That's all. I see. Why did you want to take over the group? You might already know this, but our group was made to protect her neighborhood. I've heard it from my dad that delinquents and bad people tended to gather here because of convenience in transportation. Watarai group was formed to get rid of those people and to protect the neighborhood. We have protected the neighborhood. I want to do that too. This is my home. I was born and raised here. It's natural that I care, right? Yeah, then don't you think you should go back and talk to your father? But he wouldn't listen to me. Still, I think it's a problem that you need to solve by talking to him. You're too cheeky for a stalker. Whatever. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to him. If I get in a fight with him, I'll run away again. Can I stay here? You're such a pessimist. Raika asked me to go with her, so I went to the Watarai group's office. Now you're finally back, you idiot! I'm back, asshole! They're ready to explode. Just as I expected, their conversation didn't go anywhere. So, I'm telling you that I want to take over the group! How many times do I have to tell you I want you to live happily as a normal person? You're a girl! Is it because I'm a girl? What if I were a boy? Isn't that discrimination? Hey, calm down a bit. Shut up, Caillou. What? But I couldn't just keep quiet, so I started talking to them. I understand both of you, but don't you think that nothing comes out of this and that it's gonna cause something awful if you keep doing this? Something awful? For example, maybe Raika will run away again and never comes back. Lord, Raika, are you not coming back? I'm just saying, you'll definitely regret it if something like that happens. So maybe you can't accept everything, but can you two at least try to respect what the other is saying? I'm not sure if I was able to convince them, but they talk calmly after that. Uh -huh. They didn't come to an agreement, but Raika at least agreed to go home. Let me thank you for now, boy. We wouldn't come this far if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Thank you, Caillou. Uh, it's a bit embarrassing. Oh, do you want to join our group? You're young, but you're not scared of us, and you're brave enough to face me. I like you. Uh, n no, I want to live as a normal person. Too bad. Then, do you want to marry me? Huh? What? I thought you were great too. To be honest, I've been having feelings for you a little, but you were still a weird stalker to me. But, uh, but marriage is too much of a leap. Really? I think it's a good idea. Um... Don't be kidding, I won't allow it! Marriage or boyfriends, that's too early for you, Raika. Uh, I am old enough, it's not too early! Yes, it is! You have no say in this! What? Just like that, they started fighting again. Thanks again. Again? I don't know when Raika will go home. I guess our relationship is going to continue. Bonus! Hey, do you know where my socks are? Why did you think I knew? You're my stalker. I thought you might know everything about me. No way. 